Greetings to all. Today I will start a playlist of uh, short videos on uh, Oracle Apex, where we will build a small web application to interact with a cloud-based database without any code. Now, before going into the application itself, I would like first to show how to get an Oracle Apex workspace. Now, all you have to go uh, to do is to go to your web browser and type Oracle Apex in the search space. And thereafter, you'll be given with uh, the HTTP link to Oracle Apex. Once you click on that link, you'll be taken to the web page of uh, Oracle Apex, which is the following one. From here, you will have to click on uh, sign in and uh, it will take you to the login screen where you'll be asked to type your workspace username and password. But because at the first time you do not have yet a workspace, at this stage, what you'll have to do is to click on a request a workspace. After clicking on a request a workspace, you'll be prompted to enter your first name, last name, email address, and uh, as well as the name of the workspace, the name that you would like to give to your workspace. You'll have to uh, fill all these information. And then uh, once you fill the information, please make sure you, you, you feel personal because this is for your personal work. Once you fill that information, you'll go to next and ultimately Oracle will send you an email confirming that you have received a workspace. It might take a bit of time. In my case, maybe it took a, a day or half a day to get that email. I'll just show you how does the email look like. The email that I received from Oracle was this one, giving me the name of my workspace as well as my username. This is the name that I'm going to use when I will log in. Now, remember when I was requesting a workspace, I asked for a password and Oracle uh, Apex will ask me to change that password so that I can give my new password. So now I can now go back and try to log in again in Oracle Apex and I'll be prompted once again to this login screen using the workspace name that was given in my email as well as my user name. From there, I will type uh, the, 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 the password and I will be able to sign in. So now you can see I am signed in. I am now inside my workspace. Very, very good. Now that I'm in my, inside my workspace, I would like to show the first thing that I can do in that workspace is to uh, create other users that may be able to use my application. So I can now go to administration and in administration, I will manage my users and groups. Clicking on users and group will take me to this screen. When I'm here, I can create a new user by simply clicking on this green button and uh, I'll be prompted with a bit of information to ask 
what is the name of the user i can give any name of my choice i can call for example zo kiza is my username and then the email address that i can give to zookisa i'll call zooks at gmail.com the after you can see the first name is not uh, mandatory as well as the description and so on and from there yes i can ask to zooks to change his password on first use and from there i think we are done it's very simple to create a new user this user is okisa i can now go to create user oh he's telling me that an error has occurred and he's saying the password must have the same value please confirm password must have the same value as okisa the password the password the password I did not fill in the password. So I'm going to call Zooks. One, two, three dollar percent. Then I'll write again Zooks. One, two, three dollar percent. And this time, hopefully, it's going to be fine. And I'm going to apply the change by creating the user the user has been created and you can now see zooks zooks one two three uh half dollar thank you very much we will carry on on the next video on how to start putting tables and how to build the app itself